Welcome back to Do It Yourself. My name is Nico, and uh, we're getting ready for a very exciting time. Uh, it's probably the busiest time in the, on the Jewish calendar. Uh, we're just maybe about 10 days out from the month of Tishrei, which starts with Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Okay? Now, it's so busy because just the next week after Rosh Hashanah, we have Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And then after that, we have Sukkot, which is a, a week-long festival with, uh, with our, yeah, where we stay outside in, in a sukkah. Um, but with all this, getting ready for Tishrei, getting ready for Rosh Hashanah, there's a lot of different things to, to prepare for. And for Rosh Hashanah, which is also known as Chag HaTorah, um, it, the principal mitzvah for the new year is to hear the blowing of the shofar. This is my shofar. It's made from a ram's horn. I bought it online. I think I got it from Amazon. There's probably other Judaica stores that are online that you can order one from. It might, it shouldn't be too late for you to order something now, hopefully. Um, if you don't have one already or you don't have access to a Jewish community where you can borrow one. Um, so this is the shofar. And we have to hear, well, most communities will sound the shofar 100 times, okay? Uh, during the services on the, uh, for Rosh Hashanah. Um, but the Torah commandment itself is fulfilled with 30 blasts. Now, we'll go over that in a second, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's first, for those of you who might not have access to somebody to listen to, for those of you who might be playing uh, the shofar, blowing the shofar for the first time, it's basically played like a trumpet. Now, this was a ram's horn, right? It can't be from a cow. It has to be from an animal that was slaughtered in a kosher way. Um, and yeah, so... If we, we consider how to play a trumpet, we just kind of <laughs> buzz our lips together. Um, I usually use the side of my mouth because I get a little bit better sound that way. It's easier for me. The, and we just kind of <laughs> Okay, if you want to practice, you can make duck noises with your hand. <laughs> Okay, um, and that's it. That's how we make a noise with the shofar. But we can't just hear any noise on Yom Kippur. There are specific types of blasts that we listen to. Okay, so this here, this gives us a really good idea of the different sounds of the shofar that we need to hear. We need to hear the takia. Right, it's a one long blast. Okay, then we have Shvarim, which is a series of three shorter blasts that should take the same amount of time as the one long blast. Okay, and then the Torua which is a series of at least nine short rapid blasts. Okay, there you go. Those are our three principal sounds. At the very end, the very last uh, takia is usually, it's called the takia gedola, and it's a takia that's noticeably longer than the other takia, right? And you can go longer if you like, or depending on your on your lung capacity or your talent for blowing on a shofar. Okay, so these are the principal noises that we have to hear with the shofar. Okay. So let's take a quick look at a, uh, at a PDF from a Machzor that shows us the procedure, the blessings 
and the sounds that we have to make, okay? I'll put a link on the video and in the comments so you can find this information yourself. So, here we go. This lets us see everything we need to do for making the, uh, the mitzvah of, of hearing the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, okay? We've got the blessings in Hebrew and in English and the procedure each time, okay? Now, it's best, you ought to make the blessings in Hebrew, okay? If you're having trouble with that, um, you know, yeah, English will, will, is better than nothing, okay? So we'll run through this real quick, right? We start with the first blessing, right? Is the blessing that commands us to hear the sound of the shofar, okay? And that's pronounced, Baruch Atah Hashem Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kirishano B'mitzvotah B'tzivano L'shmoa Kol Shofar. Okay. Now here, for study's purpose, I'm pronouncing the name Hashem. Right. Now, when we're making the uh, the blessing itself, we're going to pronounce it Adonai, which means Lord. Right. Right here we have Lord. Okay. Um, but we don't actually pronounce the name itself ever. And it's also, anyway, we'll talk about that another time. The second blessing, Baruch Ata Hashem Eloheinu Melech Olam Shechianu Bekimanu Behigianu Lizman Hazeh, right? And this is a special blessing that we do for the mitzvot that aren't regular. Like this is a, the blowing the shofar happens only twice a year on Rosh Hashanah and on Yom Kippur. So to, to be thankful that we've been sustained to enable us to reach this occasion, right? We make this blessing, okay? And then the Machsor gives us the, the procedure, right? We're going to have the takia, the really long blast, followed by the series of three shorter blasts, followed by the series of at least nine little blasts, followed by the long blast again, right? And we're going to do that three times for a total of 12 blasts, okay? We're going to do it again, this time a long blast with a series of three and a long blast. And we do that three times for nine. nine. At the very end, we do the takia. That's the very long blast. The teruwa, which is the series of nine little blasts. And the takia again, right? The long blast. And we do that three times for a series of another nine blasts. Now, the very last one is going to be the takia gadola, the very long drawn out takia, right? Now, this is a total of 30 blasts. And hearing these 30 blasts, it fulfills the Torah commandment for hearing the shofar, okay? Most communities throughout the world, they will do 100 blasts in a Rosh Hashanah service. They will do this series three times plus an extra 10 to get us to the number of 100. But if there's somebody who's sick that you, they can't come to, to the synagogue, or if for whatever reason, given current circumstances, getting to the synagogue is uh, just not possible, or the synagogue for whatever reason is closed, um, hearing these three blasts fulfills our Torah responsibility for hearing the shofar, okay? Now, again, just to make it a little bit more visual, let's take a another, a look, another look at that graphic, right? So that first one, that, series, that first series, we're going to have the long blast followed by the shorter three together, right? The and then and then the followed by a long and we do that three times and that's the first 12 that we do okay after that 
we do a series with the shvarim, right? The shvarim are the series, the, the series of three shorter blasts, right? So we have the tekiya, then the and then the long blast. And we do that three times for a total of nine more blasts. Okay. At the very end, we do the last series, which is with the terua, right? The long blast. Then the series of at least nine. And then the takia with one long blast. And at the very, very end, this last one here, number 30, we make the takia gedola. Okay, and we and we're done. So that's what we do for blowing the shofar, for hearing the shofar. It's very important when we're listening to the shofar blast not to talk. We must remain silent during this time to make sure that we hear it. Because when we're talking, we're not listening, right? Um, he gave us two ears and only one mouth for a reason. Um, but this is it. This is the main observance for uh, Rosh Hashanah. Um, the only reason we won't blow the shofar is if, the, if one of the days of Rosh Hashanah happens to follow, uh, fall on Shabbat, we don't blow the shofar because we don't want to take the shofar outside, right? Um, this is why, this is why uh, Rosh Hashanah will be observed for two days in a row all over the world, including the land of Israel, so that we know that at least one of those two days will not be Shabbat, and we will hear the shofar 100 times, or at least 30, if circumstances don't allow us to get to the synagogue, right? I hope that helps get you ready for Rosh Hashanah coming very soon, and we will cover more things like honey and and apples and Seder plates and special challah and other things to get ready for Rosh Hashanah shortly, followed by videos about Yom Kippur and also Sukkot. All right. Thank you. My name is Nico. Thanks for watching Do It Yourself, and we will see you next time.